Oh, oh. a backdraft there. Oh yeah. So um, um weight limit and then 20 yards. So what we're actually doing here is I think that's a bad place that I've parked. It's actually really difficult to get parked here, it's a bike lane. It's a bike lane. Um, what I wanted to do was have a look at the... That. Have a look at that. Um, my other phone has given up. So, what it is... I don't know if I can see much from up there. Where that road end is. What does that say? <sighs> Should be able to. Construction traffic, it says. There's cameras! There's cameras! Muster point! Cameras! Watching me, watching you, watching me, watching you! So there's a muster point. What's the muster point for? I mean, Greensmouth plant looks pretty big, you know? Oh, that'll be some kind of safety thing there. You know that area there? If this thing, little thing goes up, right? Goes up in smoke, you know? It'll be bad news. One of them Renault wind things. The Renault wind. I think it's called that, isn't it? Oh, there's a ski slope up there. Um, cameras are not looking at me. CCTV. Ten. Can't really see much. It's them big chimneys I like. I've got a thing about chimneys. Right. Well, we're not going to see much today. Um, I don't really know much about it. I'm not really. Oh, my dad was in the. started work here, 1950s, in the petrochemical industry. A motorbike. Um, my dad started working here, yeah. Uh, so he started his career. So yeah, I suppose we've got family connections. Quite a big area, that. Yeah, okay. 
Let's get going. Is that to keep deer out? Oh, what's that bit there? Is that to keep deer out or something? Here we go, brambles. Right. Hmm. Okay, let's go. So we're ruining this jacket. Oh! So we're on uh, the old phone, the new one froze. So I need to get it rigged up to the computer and get home and get it emptied out. Aren't humans messy? They are, aren't they? Very messy. I'm looking at some of the firewood bits. I don't even see anything handy. You know, that I could pick up. Bear in mind I've got to cross the road with it. It's like a bit of a car bumper. Uh, it's the whole front. It's a bit of fun to try and identify what sort of car it was. Is it's a Ford. The Ford. I think some kind of Ford came off there. I'm not even sure if that grey bit goes with it. Yeah, that's the Ford Transit. Probably. Right, need to get going. Uh, yeah, we'll have a better look next time. It's... Let's have a look at Bowness. Uh, What does that sign say? I've got to see that. What does that sign say? Happy Days Mini Bus and Coach Hi. I think it's worn out. Uh, for you dig. The pressure. Pipeline. So, uh, sign is had it. The sign is knackered. The sign is no good. It's no good. Oh, so the fence has gotten flattened. Somebody's went over there, rolled over, or whatever. <sighs> Probably.
Get it away from somebody's windscreen. It's probably a slightly selfish of me to park there. Uh, it's, I found well, Grangeworth will be deliberately like that. Um, won't it, I think. It'll be deliberately like that. That sounded good, uh, I missed that. Um, the Focus 2.5 Turbo, or whatever, I think it sounded like a. It sounded like that. Right. We'll wait for this traffic to go. Uh, there's a bit of a ramp over there, there's also a big stick. Yeah, I better not go over that stick, it could land up on top of the... Uh... Uh! Oh, I missed it. I missed the stick. There's a little bit there that I could have went in. Uh, oh, look, yeah, they've got a wee bit there. Ugh, right. The polis! The polis! Every time I see the polis, like, oh, are they going out to see me? Oh, look at that. There's a bit of a river there, aye. Right? One thing I have noticed when I come on this road, and I'm only doing, say, 40 or 50, within a very short space of time, there's a big queue behind me. Does that go to Pullman? Ah, it does. So we've got a choice up here. We could go through Grange Road, but that's a bit awkward. Uh, whole flats. Um, probably just. Uh, I could have went straight on there. Uh, yeah. Nah, no, not straight on. I'd have to turn right here. Eh? window will try and get some fresh air. Joggers! So it's a bit weird here, you have to sort of go right round and under the motorway in order just to turn right. You know, A905, we're going, well, could I actually go on the motorway? Uh, well, we'll do that instead. Should have went in the middle lane. Let's go on the motorway. Uh, I'd like to see if that barrier's been cleared up. We can get on the motorway at uh, Earl's Gate Roundabout. 
Yeah. Go on. Howdy, yeah. He's not messing about. Overtook me. Uh, we'll see if the fence has been cleared away with the, the man got killed. So if we go this way, we'll see that. The fence was, the tree landed on top of it. I went and videoed it and I got a snotogram for this lady who wasn't happy. Uh, A905 East. You could go in the middle, uh, west. A905 West. So down here. I might as well maybe just go through skin flats. So up here there was a load of fencing. Um, it looks like the fencing. The strangest part about it was that it was like a it was a building site up here on the left. So it, there's the fencing. It's all down. It's all down. Look, there's the rose. There's the flowers. For the, that's where the person got killed. Uh, there's a twisted, that's a twisted fence there on the left. Uh, it's one of these what if sort of things, you know. You know, they, they were out. I don't, I don't know why they were out, but it was like I think it was, it was either quarter to eleven or quarter to twelve at night, and. It's, the storm, it was a bad storm. I can't remember if it was yellow or amber. I can't remember the difference between yellow and or amber. And it was they were out uh, when I was like myself, I was at home. You know, I, I wouldn't go out in that. I don't know why I'm doing go out in that at that time of night. I was a f uh, I think it was a Sunday evening. And so the following week I went, stopped there, walked back and videoed the, the fence. Which we can have a look at. We can have a look at that video. Um, I mean, at the end of the day, I got a lot of nasty messages for this lassie or whatever. But I'm recording stuff. You know, you can't stop me from doing that. And if you think it's in bad taste, that's your opinion. You know. You know, you you can't really speak for everyone, and I think people do that. So you can say, well, what am I? Am I like, what am I, a YouTuber, or a citizen journalist, you know, or... Uh, I'm not an auditor. But I look at, I go around looking at stuff and I knew there was a problem there, so I videoed it and filmed it, and now, you know, it, it's been recorded. It could be that, that I mean, I'm, they'll do an investigation, but it's all, all dead. Quite look at, look at that railway station thing there. You know, I forgot the name of it. It's like a. Anyway, you know, so I've recorded the aftermath of it. And I, obviously, the police will have taken photographs right, left, and centre. I hate to be like quite horrible, but I actually picked up a bit of wood there as well. Uh, quite, and at the end of the day, I, you know, I, I really do feel for the, the man that died. Uh, the life goes on, you know. Uh, life goes on, and uh, you know, re only rest, rest in peace and all that sort of stuff. But uh, I don't think it's wrong to video things or after the event of something that's happened. That's my opinion, and I'm sticking with it. And if you want to stop me, you know, you'll have to. Um, it's not going to be particularly easy stopping me. Ah! <laughs> I wondered who was peeping at me. I, I've got somebody in the left there that that I know. Uh, go on, back out. Light. Uh, now, are we going in the motorway or are we going by skin flats? Uh, yeah, we're we'll going in the motorway. Yeah, M9 North. Especially since that Volkswagen's muscled its way into the middle lane. I wasn't sure which way to go. 
let it go in the middle of our you can get these roundabouts are a bit there's three lane roundabout the bike lane on the right more nonsense yeah So we're coming off. On the M9. Yeah, so it's like uh, I think it's important to record things, yeah, yeah. Now what I was getting up with the fence was the tree fell down in the storm and it, it sounded as as far as I know, the lady I'm not totally sure about this, but she was probably driving the car and she drove into the tree. Right? Um, she drove into the tree. They've trimmed, it. They've trimmed down the trees here. She drove into the tree and the, that's when the man died. Probably went through the windscreen or something. Oh, jeez, eh? It's quite unpleasant when you think about it. Um, it's not a thing I've ever done, so I couldn't really say. I know that trees are sort of brown, grey, you know, with green bits sometimes. You know, I think it would be an issue about eyesight. I would say, yeah, I mean, that doesn't take much working out. There's an eyesight issue going on there with that person who drove into that tree, um, and that's a fact. It's unpleasant to think about that, but you drove into a tree and if you're elderly or something, you know, can you see? It's all a bit of a problem, and I don't, I don't want him to stop driving. Uh, I think the, the biggest problem for me with that situation, I don't know the story, is that they should not have been out driving in a amber or yellow warning. I forget which one it was. Should not have been out driving at quarter to eleven or quarter to twelve at night. What I've noticed is you don't get so much information now as you used to uh, when there was an accident. It used to used to give you plenty of information, and now I think it must be something to do with data or uh, you know privacy. So now it's even more needed that people like me go around filming things. So we can get the truth. Wow, eventually put the indicator off. This van's noisy. The, the exhaust has got a hole in it. It's probably got something to do with it.
Right, here we are at AR Fit at Bochy's roundabout. Sorry, I fell asleep there for a bit. Uh, thanks for waking me up. Yeah, okay, we're turning off. And we've got. Whoa, we're going to pull out from the Honda Civic. Oh no! Oh my god, what's going on here? What on earth is going on here? So you've taken a wrong turn in, and now how are you going to deal with the situation? Yes, um, best option would be to turn off up on the left. Is that what they're going to do? Yes. Trying to find somewhere, they should have turned right. They may be looking for that garage. Oh, they're turning left, as I predicted. They are turning left. You don't know where you're going, and probably going to turn round. Nope, yep, they are. They're turning round. Not very good drivers. One thing, a kind of problem that from my past, and I obviously don't have this problem now, is when you've got. <laughs> well, how can I put this? When you're hanging about with dumplings and you're going somewhere, and they and they're not, you're trying to drive, I find it really difficult try to focus on driving and dealing with dumplings going on about stuff and if you don't, like, if you're in a scenario where you don't exactly know where you're going you're trying to process the information um, it, it can be very, I find it very difficult so I, I, I used to get like crap out of my kids and stuff you know, like, what the fucking hell are you going on about? Uh, but it's quite sad because I took my kids, the younger two, uh, all over the place. Because it, it's so tricky going on about it, like seeing what actually happened. Because you get into this kind of like, oh, it was your fault, and it was my fault, it was your fault, you did this, you did that. But what actually happened was the social workers took. Two, my two younger ones off of my ex because there was violence and stuff. There's stuff I didn't really know about my boyfriend at the time. And um, so that's why they had to come and live with me. And uh, I had them for a while. And they eventually went back to her. That's what they wanted. I wasn't very happy about it. So now, here we are in the future uh, with them um, 26, 25 fucking about not really doing anything, you know. But at the same time, that is not unusual, you know. Uh, you know, and the, like everybody seems to have mental health problems now. I think it's got to a point where everybody's got mental health problems. I think the one thing we could do is stop this net zero shit. I mean, because and stop persecuting young men, you know, would be a good start. No much wonder young men are, have got no hope. And they're, they're turning to drugs and turning to all sorts of things. Because they're not getting a fair chance. Because you've got these nimby bastards going, oh, you know, eh, you have to have this, you have to have that, you have to have a black box in your car. And then they'll go, oh, well, we can't bother driving, they can't afford it. You know, everything's geared up against them. And it's time it stopped. You know, stop it. You know, stop this lefty Marxist bullshit because it's not helping humanity. If young men can't survive, we're fucked. If they get out and take risks, do do the sort of things they're supposed to do. Be mad, you know. It's normal, right? It is actually normal. Um, so. It is normal. So I hope you enjoyed that video. Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe for me in the next video. My eyesight must be going. I thought that man there uh, was actually either a cyclist and then I thought uh, it was a sign. A triangular sign. So, uh, yeah. End video. No. Ah. 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 End video. Now. I'm done. I don't want any more from done.
one more.